If you're looking to be near the city, near all the hustle and bustle, but not quite in it and still have plenty of things to do in a great, safe area, then this video is for you. Stick around because I'm talking all about Penfield, New York. going on guys welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video and as much as i love making these videos for you on all things rochester and finger lakes living i'd love even more to help you with those real estate needs so whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days definitely don't hesitate to reach out it's never too soon to start the process we've had people reach out a year in advance two years in advance actually one guy from uh, colorado reached out four years in advance he's he's moving here in four years um he's already got that plan so he's already seeing what kind of things he needs to think about um he's part of the the va medical center so he's asking questions about that so it's never too soon to reach out that's my point give me a text call or email i am the one that answers those text calls and emails and um you know i'd be honored to help you in your transition here to the finger lakes rochester region without further ado today i'm talking about penfield new york it's one of the best suburbs uh in and around the rochester region um in my opinion and you know it's not just my opinion all the statistics show that as well as far as where people are moving to and grade point averages for the high schools and everything that we're going to get into into this video so if you're interested in learning all about penfield new york stick around and you'll learn something hopefully <laughs> named after daniel penfield who was a early settler of the area uh penfield new york was quickly established as a transportation link in the area or a big transportation hub in the area predominantly because of the momentum of the growth of the erie canal and daniel penfield was instrumental in doing that so because of daniel penfield and in the early settlers in the area in the late 18th century penfield has a rich rich historic value to it and uh a lot of people are very proud of that here in um penfield and a lot of people will tell you if they're locals of penfield they will talk to you about the history of penfield it's it's very rich in culture and the culture is kind of um you know it's it's surrounded by the history of of what happened here as far as settling the area goes one of the first towns in the area to be settled so penfield is just very historically rich very culturally rich and just people love living in penfield it's they're just super proud of the area they're super proud of a lot of them still have ancestors who who were uh part of that era right and they're just the the history is just being passed on generation to generation and um you know the area is just super proud of everything that has happened there in penfield and it's evident when you go there the area is very well kept it's very uh the the beautification of the area is just amazing some of the most green space that that you'll ever see in uh some of the suburbs of rochester and penfield basically runs right into the city of rochester you go down atlantic ave and it's right there you can literally see the city from penfield so it's very close in proximity and because of like the history and everything the community spirit is high you know i've had the chance to experience some of the uh the homecoming events uh at penfield high school and being from Canandaigua Academy, I wouldn't call it quite equivalent to Canandaigua Academy, but it's pretty close. It's pretty darn close. The school pride there, the area, the town pride is just bar none. You really can't beat it. There's, you know, I think one town that's above it and that it would be Canandaigua. And of course, I'm partial to Canandaigua, so don't take that as truth. That's just my own personal bias. But Penfield is amazing for that. And, you know, it... it it goes without saying that because of the history because of the cultural the the community spirit and everything penfield has some of the greatest schools in the area coming in with a niche.com rating of an a the public schools in penfield are just bar none it's it they're amazing and 
you know, so just going down some of the grading here on niche.com, the overall um, grades that they give here, public schools are an A. Housing is an A minus. Uh, a plus for good for families. It's great for families. Very family friendly. A minus for jobs. So, I mean, it's you can get really good jobs in Penfield. B for a cost of living. A minus for outdoor activities. I mentioned all the green space and parks and everything. That is why. Crime and safety is almost, you know, the, the crime is almost non-existent. And that's statistically, I will say, um, my father works at eye care place in Penfield. And there recently was a break-in and it was done by a um, firearm. And it was after hours. Nobody was hurt. Uh, you know, only a couple thousand dollars of merchandise was was stolen and they ended up catching the guy because he bled all over the store and you know they got blood spore basically they were able to track him down so but that's not typical in penfield although it it basically connects to the city of rochester you really don't get much crime there it may be small property crime uh very rarely is it violent crime and you know it goes without saying that really anywhere that you go you're going to get crime it's inevitable things happen right but penfield is very safe it's a very safe suburb of rochester um b for nightlife and you know so within penfield itself there are some bars there there's some um like pubs and things like that some restaurants and but there aren't really any clubs so but because it connects to rochester it actually connects to one of the better parts of rochester for nightlife uh with the clubs and the bars and things like that that a lot of students go to and uh, just a lot of the the younger age population goes to and so i think because of that that's kind of where it's getting the b for nightlife um just that it connects to that area of rochester that that has the clubs and and the things going on right the loud music and whatever um b for diversity so this is great this is what makes penfield super attractive similar to something like brighton or a town like brighton it's very diverse uh you know it's it's very friendly toward all sorts of cultures out there Wh whatever whatever type of culture you could ever come from penfield is very very friendly to that culture um and there's a slew of them i mean basically everything any any culture you could ever imagine any ethnic background that you could ever imagine is there every belief system is there in penfield and everybody's very friendly toward each other i mentioned the community spirit it goes without saying that it is, um, you know, it, they they accept uh, basically everybody as as their own. So very friendly, um, you know, super diverse area. Now the next one, weather is a C minus. Of course, it's in Rochester. You're going to get gloomy winters. You're going to get snowy winters. You're going to get cold winters. You know, but the summers aren't all that bad. Um, and you know, so, so really the C minus every single town that you get in, uh, upstate New York or Western New York, or, you know, this area, the Finger Lakes and Rochester region of New York is going to be a C minus. So just bear that in mind. Uh, health and fitness is a B plus. There's a lot of gyms in Penfield. And if it's not right in Penfield, it's right outside of Penfield. There's a lot of yoga, yoga studios. There's a lot of hiking trails and it's not like super hilly or there's no mountains or anything like that, but it is very, uh, green and there's a lot of parks like I had mentioned before. So with that, you have walking trails, you have running trails, you have sidewalks on the street that you can exercise on, right? There's a bunch of parks and stuff that people will actually get together and they'll go exercise together and stuff. There's going to be classes in the parks and yoga classes in the parks. And um, there is a YMCA in Penfield and it's very, 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 very nice. Um, so you've got your sauna there, your pickleball, your basketball, your swimming pool. You've got the whole nine uh over there at that ymca it's just amazing and then commute is a b and so like i said going from penfield into the city of rochester it's literally once you get on atlantic avenue it's a straight shot into rochester so it's very convenient um if you're in some of the outskirts of penfield uh, a little bit further away from the city like on the far end of of penfield then it might be a little bit further but really you're not talking any more than 10 or 15 minutes to get into the city of rochester so it's super convenient um 
And again, you have Lyft and Uber, and uh, there are some small taxi services and stuff as far as your commute goes, but that's not very prevalent. Um, the bus system is not really out there. You could probably get a, you know, a, a smaller bus that um, does local pickup and drop offs to take you into the city or whatever. But again, you're going to want to rely on your own vehicle or uh, Lyft and an Uber. Uh, to get you into the city if that's where you're going but then to other places like to Canandaigua you're talking maybe you know 25 minutes or so 20 minutes maybe um, to Fairport you're talking very close they basically connect to Pittsford same thing they basically connect uh, Brighton same thing so all the suburbs of Rochester basically intertwine with each other and um, so you know, if you want to go to the Pittsford Plaza, it's it's relatively close. If you want to find a Barnes and Noble, it's relatively close. A Wegmans, it's right there in Penfield. Target, right there in Penfield. So you're very close. Penfield is very central to a lot of different locations, and um, it's just great for proximity to things. Now, getting into real estate of Penfield, your median home price is going to be about two hundred twenty-six thousand dollars. Your median rent price is. $1,157. So just to put that in perspective, the national average for median home value is 244900 So roughly $20,000 more than the median of Penfield. And then the median rent price is what, $6 more than um, the median rent for Penfield. But 1100 in Penfield, that's really not that bad considering there's a lot of other areas where you're looking minimum of say thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars for for rent in uh, those areas. So Penfield is pretty cheap. Eighty two percent of Penfield's residents own a house versus the eighteen percent that uh, that rent. Now um, that is just a that's indicative of the community there. People tend to be more responsible with their money. They tend to. Uh, they tend to save a, a lot of Penfield, like I said, has that old, that old kind of money, um, that came from the settlers and just generational kind of wealth type thing. Um, and so maybe that is why they're getting into the real estate market early, or they have that generational transfer where grandma owned the house, then mom owned the house. Now son or daughter owns the house, right? So you know, the, the inner family transfers is also a, a big part of the home ownership there. And, um, but then also parents tend to help their kids a lot with, uh, whether it's taking money out of their 401k or retirement funds to help them buy a house and establish a means of security and a, a means of, um, living, right. Having a roof over your head and getting food in, in the, in the house. That's, you know, super important for the people in Penfield. Briefly going back to the the money situation in Penfield with the median home prices and everything, the median household income in Penfield is one hundred one thousand two hundred fifty dollars. So, a little bit higher of an end uh, uh, area, right? Um, there's plenty of suburbs of Rochester that the income is not near that. It might be seventy thousand. It might be sixty five thousand for the household income, right? But Penfield is $101,250. So that's pretty significant when you're talking median household income. There's uh, a lot of um, there's a lot of people that work at a company called Paychex. There's a lot of people who um, work at University of Rochester, whether that's in the teaching sector or the medical field, whether they're doctors or nurses or, you know, what have you. Um, just other medical professionals being administrative, something like that. Um, but they're, they're great professionals over there in Penfield. And, um, you know, they really raise their kids very well. Um, they're great in athletics. They're great in academics. They're just great citizens. Um, and, you know, it's, it's evident when you go there.
places that I would consider to be like Penfield would be Parenton or Fairport. Um, you know, Penfield has a population of 39,074 people. So it's a pretty big area. Um, and, you know, I would consider it like a Parenton or Fairport or uh, a less dense um, not even a Brighton, but I don't know, maybe a, a Pittsford, just a little bit lower scale. Um, still very high scale, but just not quite as high scale as Pittsford. But, you know, as, as far as like real estate goes, again, you can get anywhere into the million range or you can get something in the, in the probably 150 to 200 range but i think that you know more likely what you're going to find in penfield for sale that's going on the market regularly is going to be somewhere in the 300,000 range and you know people have no problem paying that it's a great area and for what you get with that house and the the land around you and the proximity to things y you you really can't find anything better for the price it's just such a great value and you know people all of our clients that have moved there absolutely love it it's there's no complaining about the town of penfield or the school districts or anything like that it's just an amazing town amazing community rich history and um you know people just love being there and so with that being said hope you got something from this video if you are thinking about moving to penfield or any of the surrounding areas around rochester feel free to reach out to the information on the bottom of your screen i am the guy that answers those text emails and phone calls and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i i post a new video and until the next video guys we'll see you bye